As we move further and further into the connected age, the idea of what a job is continues to blur. Enter the streamer. With the use of sites like Live.me, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and most prominently Twitch, personalities can be paid from the comfort of their own home and gain a massive following through the internet. For today's video, I'm going to focus in on the female Twitch streamers, or better yet known as booby streamers. These females be living on recruit difficulty and use their looks to make tons of money. And basically, I don't really have a problem with it. Hey, what's up guys? It's Neriku back at it again with yet a brand new problem, booby streamers. Shout out to my guy Birdman who coined the term recruit difficulty and also a shout out to my boy Slick Pickle 06, better yet known as Tag View here on YouTube. He came up with this topic idea for me and, and submitted that to me via Twitter. So if you guys have any new topic ideas that you want me to cover, maybe you guys see anything weird on the internet you guys want me to talk about or maybe react to, if it's good, go ahead and hit me up on Twitter. Go ahead and follow me there and I will go ahead and possibly do a video on it. Also, that link for my Twitter is down in the description below, as well as Slick Pickles' Twitter is down in the description below. I definitely appreciate that, and let's go ahead and get into the video. So, these booby streamers. To be completely honest, I don't really have a problem with these women. I'm not necessarily mad that they found a lucrative way to make their money. Like, everyone has to eat, everyone has to make their living, everyone has to, you know, do whatever makes them happy. And if that's, that's what they do, that's fine. However, there is a few problems with the channel itself or with the outcome of them doing what they do. So we'll go ahead and get into that right now. Popularity. So, what I mean by this is that these booby streamers have dominated the scene, um, not only on Twitch, but if you go ahead and you look on places like YouTube, even Instagram, that's pretty much all you see. It's become a meme at this point where you see Instagram models kind of, that's the entire point of going on Instagram now is to look at beautiful women. And I don't necessarily have a problem with that. However, on Twitch in particular, these booby streamers take attention away from legitimate streamers or real streamers. Um, what I mean by that is that there's legitimate people, guys and girls, who are out there working hard in order to gain subscribers, working hard in order to gain viewers, and they're being outshined by booby streamers simply because of the fact they have a push-up bra that's pushing their boobies to the gods above. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous because if you consider it, like, that's not what Twitch was meant for. Sure, that's what it's evolved into, but that's not necessarily what it was meant for. And there are a few legit streamers out there who do get a massive following, but it's not without a lot of patience and hard work. This is not an easy job by any means, but these girls, they be living on recruit difficulty. They make it a lot easier than what it typically is for the average person. And I'm not necessarily mad that it's easier for them. I mean, that's with anything. There's going to be an inequality when it comes to the amount of work you have to put in or in order to get a specific result. If that is your goal to get subscribers, to get money and to make Twitch or streaming a full time job, then yes, there is going to be a particular caliber of work that you have to put in. However, that leads me to my second point, which is the amount of work that these girls have to put in. If you look at their streams, you can see that their streams are lazy. I mean, I think that they go in on average and probably will stream for at least an hour, maybe two. Even sometimes you see them do a longer streams about four hours, but that's because they can put in a shift because it's super easy work. Their commentary is garbage. Their gameplay is lackluster. And that's not really the entire focus of their channel. The gameplay actually comes second, which kind of bothers me to a degree because it's on Twitch. But at the same time, by providing that service that they do, if you can call it that, I'm not really necessarily mad about that end of it. I'm just more, more so mad about the fact that this, the platform that they're choosing to stream on, like if you're choosing to stream on Twitch, then play games. If you're choosing to entertain us with gameplay or with anything, then do that. If you look at the number one perpetrator of this, I'm talking about Pink Sparkles, you can see that there's a lot of times on her stream where it's completely dead. And she has no issues with getting up and just walking away from the stream to use, a to use the bathroom. And it's not like a quick 30 second bathroom break, even a minute or so. She'll be gone for like five, six minutes, leaving the stream completely just AFK, just gone. She's completely gone. And I have a problem with that because when you're in this business, it's about entertainment first. It's it's show business and she's comfortable enough and f she has enough faith in her stream to be able to walk away from the stream knowing that her viewers are going to be there when she comes back. It's a problem when you think about it. She doesn't have to put in any work. She doesn't have to edit her videos. She doesn't have to come up with topic ideas. She doesn't have to even be entertaining. All she has to do is just sit there and make sure she's wearing a skimpy enough outfit or promise that she's going to dance or do something to that degree in order to just get her views. And I have a problem with that specifically because of the fact that it's just not fair. Now, some of you guys might say, oh, I'm just jealous or I'm hating. No, do you like if you found a lucrative way to make money, 
that's fantastic. But what's wrong with being beautiful and entertaining? I don't under, I don't understand. Like, why, why is there a disconnect? Why are there so many people who are not necessarily talented doing this? I don't I don't get it. It's absolutely mind boggling to me that there's so many people who watch and actually engage and even put their hard earned money into these streams for these women who will never notice them. It's crazy. It's they make it seem like it's the easiest job you could ever have. Actually, it is the easiest job you can ever have when you're one of these booby streamers, because I stream myself. I do YouTube and this is hard work. I have to edit my videos. I have to appear to be funny. And if I got my ugly ass on camera, I actually probably would do a disservice to myself. So I guess maybe that's where the hard work comes in for them. I, I don't know. Maybe putting on makeup and picking out their outfits, the hardest part of their job. And honestly, okay, you know, you do you. That's fine, I guess. But I kind of feel like when you're putting that on stream, you're putting that on, um, on Twitch, uh, on a platform like Twitch, maybe you should possibly go to a different site for that if that's what if that's what your entire play is is to dress up and talk to guys and make comments that are targeting the sexuality of men at the end of the day you can see the type of conversations that these streamers engage in are, are provocative in nature and on purpose and that's to get your attention that's to get you to spend your money think about it like this think about it like this if you were a, a kid, let's say you're a 10 year old boy, maybe even a little older, maybe you're just just prepubescent in nature and you're getting on to Twitch to watch some legitimate gameplay. Let's say you're interested in watching things on your Minecraft of, uh, you know, you want to see things and um, you want to see somebody play some some Minecraft. So you get on there and you're searching for Minecraft and you see a thumbnail of this woman. All parental guidelines aside that Twitch has a place that you have an account that allows you to see this somehow. Maybe you got it, got a hold of your brother's, your older brother's account or something. I don't know. And and you're on Twitch just to watch Minecraft. That was legitimately your intention. I know what, what my choice would be at that point. If I saw that thumbnail, I would be right on Pink Sparkle's channel enjoying the hell out of her stream simply because I was baiting into it by seeing a pair of titties. And uh, I'm a sucker for titties, okay? There's a lot of guys who are, and there's even women who are. So it's just more along the lines of how is this allowed and what can we do to fix it? And I may not necessarily have the answer for that right now, but I do have a problem with the way that their their whole entire marketing strategy, they're just money hungry hoes. Like when you think about it at the end of the day, they're exploiting nerdy guys or maybe guys who don't necessarily know how to talk to girls, maybe guys who don't who don't have contact with women or with girls in their life and they're using their sexuality to exploit men's interests. They know exactly what to say. They know exactly what to do in order to make you donate some money. And I haven't been pathetic enough to donate my money to these women. I never will. As you guys know, I'm extremely cheap. And if you don't know that, now you know. That's not something that I would be interested in doing. And I think that maybe you guys should join in as well and maybe hold your money. Don't spend money on these women who never would notice you in real life anyway and who aren't going to notice you because you spent $100 on them. Even if you spent 1000 let's say you, you, you donate a thousand thousand dollars to pink sparkles any booby twitch streamer that you can think of let's say you donate a thousand dollars to them you think that somehow that means that you're gonna get your dick sucked no that's not what this amounts to and and let's be real here when a nigga put out some money like that a nigga wants something in return like i'm gonna be real like i, I would be expecting something back from that and that's honestly not gonna happen especially over a measly little thousand dollars anyway she's gonna say thank you she's gonna be oh my god you're so great and she's not gonna give you anything so you're the part of the problem here at the end of the day. I went to Pink Sparkle's channel just for research purposes and she wasn't streaming. So I figured, okay, maybe I can grab some footage for you guys. Maybe I can go ahead and make this video a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And um, yeah, there's a $5 paywall to watch her previous streams. I'm absolutely livid about that. That's ridiculous. Okay, now Pink Sparkle's, if you guys see this woman, she's decent looking. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take anything away from her. She's actually a decent looking girl. Um. I don't like the glasses thing that she does. She kind of like does like the librarian thing with her glasses kind of hanging low on her face. That's really ugly to me. I think it's absolutely atrocious. Don't do that. Take off the glasses. And she's got a decent body. She's got nice big bajongas. Um, she's got a butt on her. I mean, I got no problem. She thick. Okay. But I'm not about to spend five dollars to look at one of your previous streams. So not only are you not live, so I can feel like, or have the the uh, the illusion, so that I can feel like, or have the illusion that I'm actually talking to you. Not only is that that disconnect now gone, but now this is a pre-recorded footage that may not be the best, that is definitely not live, that I don't know. I, it's, it, there's just something wrong with that in my, in my eyes. You know, I feel like all pre-recorded footage should be absolutely free. And that's simply because the work has already been done. So use it as a free marketing strategy to attract people to your stream, to attract subscribers. Don't use it as something to say, oh, well, if you want to see me wear this skimpy outfit in my stream three days ago, you're going to have to pay me $5. That's ridiculous.
That's ridiculous. I am cheap. You guys know that. I'm not about to spend five dollars on a girl who don't even look all that. Now I told you already, she's okay looking, but she ain't that good looking. I mean, like she ain't, ain't she ain't on like no 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 Shea Evans level. She ain't no uh, a Mia Miley level. You know, a good looking to me. So I'm not about to spend money. <laughs> Ari wouldn't spend money on those women. I'm not about to spend money on this woman, especially if I'm not going to be seeing nothing. I'm literally going to see her wear a skimpy tank top or some short shorts. That's not worth it, my guy. At the end of the day, she th- she has this thing that she does in her live streams where she'll put in the top corner X amount of subscribers or X amount of donations. I'm going to do a dance. OK, great. So I, I get on her stream. You know, I, I actually get notifications, you know, for research purposes. I, I get on her stream and I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the stream. And it just so happens that she was nine out of ten away from doing the dance. Fantastic. So apparently some sad guy out, some sad sack, sack some lonely guy out there donated again or um subscribe to this woman again or gave her some more money in order to get 10 out of 10 so i'm like boom it's 10 out of 10 all right so i'm actually gonna get some really good footage from my guys here it's for research come on guys it's for research she doesn't dance at least for 10 minutes i don't know i I didn't stick around long enough to find out if she ended up doing it or not but when you hit that 10 out of 10 you would think that she would immediately like oh my god i reached my goal pumpkin spice lattes dance no she didn't do that and it really pissed me off because it's like, you promised a dance. I didn't get a dance. I'm mad. Like, I'm not about to stick around for more than 10, 15 minutes max, you know, bust it and get going. You know what I mean? Like, just so I whack, 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 you know, get off. Like, I'm, I'm not about to be sitting in your stream forever. You know, I came, I got, I came, I saw, I got what I needed. And I left, you know, it's, it's not, it's not about that. So what, what the fuck? Seriously? Pink sparkles. If, you, if you're watching this video, when you hit that 10 out of 10, I need to see that dance right away. I'm not going to spend the money, but when I say that 10 out of 10, you need to dance right away. Okay. And last but not least is the whole personality as is, you know, people go to these channels, they go to Twitch channels, they go to YouTube channels. They, they see these people on the internet because they bring something new to the table or they bring something that's extraordinary to the table and that's going to be the personality that is the person behind the game that's the person who's providing the commentary who is an entertainer and i'm not really seeing that from these guys i I, these booby streamers i I don't mean to call them guys but these booby streamers they don't really have a personality their personality is their tits i don't necessarily have a problem with that per se but I, i do have a problem when there are people out there who have good content people out there who do provide good commentary people out there who are trying their damned to give you guys a good experience um, as entertainers or as a content creator, to give you guys a good experience, to give you guys something to laugh at, to give you guys something that's enjoyable to watch other than body. Because, I mean, let's be real here. We can go and see body in many other ways that show many more things. And there's no personality to it. These 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 booby streamers are boring. They're fake. And they're not really entertaining at the root of it all. And what I mean by fake is they pretend they put on this persona of being either stupid or really innocent or overly sexual just to kind of convey a point i'm not necessarily sure if, if guys are attracted to that type of thing you know not, but no no home or anything but i'm not necessarily interested in what guys are into but um for me when a girl acts stupid or acts like she doesn't know something like legit when i'm in stream and i don't know something and i'm acting stupid it's not it's not an act i'm legitly new to a game or i legitly don't know something but when these girls are pretending to not know something for the sake of entertainment, that really kind of rubs me the wrong way. And it's not really something that I'm interested in seeing. And that's the problem there. If you want to be stupid like that, take it to another place. Take it to a place where you can be stupid. You can do whatever you want. You cannot play the gameplay footage and you could just you literally show off your body for views and for money. Take it there. So we can, as gamers and as people who, who enjoy Twitch for what it is, can actually see it. And like I said, I'm not necessarily mad about it. I'm not necessarily jealous of what you have. I'm not hating. I'm not mad at the grind. Do what you got to do. But let's be real here. We know where you came from. We know exactly what it is that you're doing. And for the guys out there who are paying into this, stop it. Really, please stop it. You're, you're, you're making us all look bad. You're making us all seem like we're pathetic, that we've never even had contact with a female. So that is really the problem here. Keep in mind that there are real streamers out there, real girl streamers who actually play games, who actually know about games, who actually enjoy playing games, and who aren't there just to show off their body. Show those people some love. Like my girl Nixflix, who is out there on Twitch almost every single night, grinding, doing her thing. Shout out to her. She's damn good at what she does. And if you guys want to see a real gamer girl, what a real gamer girl looks like, 
and what a real gamer girl does, check her out. Link to her channel, to her Twitch stream will be down in my description below. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Remember, as always, to support the real Twitch streamers out there, to go ahead and watch good content creators. If they're not really providing you with good content or a service, I don't know, like don't watch them. Maybe even go and jerk it off, whack it off. Um, Take a take a, a a trip to the butcher factory. Um, I don't know. Punch the the meat. Um, beat the meat. Do whatever it is that you gotta do in order to make good decisions. Um, if you guys had a, any advice to take away from this video today, would be to before you donate whatever money you're gonna donate to Pink Sparkles or whatever whatever streamer out there that you're gonna donate this money to, give it a quick whackety whack. You know, just just hit it real good. You know, before you give them that money, and uh, I can guarantee that by the time you're done with that little whackety whack. You're probably not going to want to give them your five dollars anyway there's plenty of free sites out there that will give you exactly what it is that you're looking for and these twitch streaming girls these booby streamers aren't going to give that to you so keep that in mind before you go ahead and send them your money or your mom's money or credit cards that you stole in order to give them money i'm gonna be real here you know like if i could show off my body and do what i got to do to make my money i would too um so i'm not hating by any means but you know ain't nobody paying to look at my fat ass or look at you know me uh dangle these uh this dick and balls you know ain't, ain't nobody paying for that <laughs> you know what i mean so um yeah as always tongue punch that like button if you guys liked what you saw today subscribe if you're new because i make new cancerous content on a consistent basis and if you see any problems hit me up on twitter you know let me know hit me up on youtube too you know i like to see new things if there's a what the fuck moment that you guys want to share with me i like to see it share it with me thanks again so much guys for watching today's video and i will see each and every one of you weird af mofos in the next video peace